my name is Paul Laurie. Uh, I'm a golf professional. I turned pro in April 1986. I got a bit of confidence, the level I was at. I won at that level and then I just kind of kept going and my, my career snowballed from there, really. Obviously won Qatar uh, in 99, won the Open in 1999. Played in the Ryder Cup again at Medina, 2012. Which looking back now, you know, I didn't think so at the time, but that looks like it's the pinnacle, you know, of my career. Like any golfer, when I was 45, 46, my body just started really breaking down, having real problems. And my left foot in particular, I started having real problems with it about 2011, 2012, it started kind of bugging me. His tissues had stretched out through the repetition of practice. He practices a thousand balls a day, six days a week, and has done since he was 17. So you can see why you get sports specific changes. Honestly, it got to a point where I had to stop. You know, I decided that I wouldn't play again the rest of the year. That was um, nearly coming up for the start of last year. It's easy for people sometimes to go, well, I think my career was over, but my career was over. You know, I wasn't going to play anymore. You can't play golf with a foot doing what mine was doing and play at the top level. You know, I was in real trouble. There's no question. When I stopped playing, it gave me an opportunity to watch Craig and Michael, my boys, a little bit more golf that I hadn't seen. And I was down watching Michael play when I met Stuart Barton, the physio, who's very friendly with Gordon Mackay. And I was in the queue in the golf club paying for my coffee and Stuart was behind me and, and, and he said, I've never, I've never met you, but I just wanted to say, I'm really sorry to hear that you have to stop playing. Are you sure that you've you, nothing you can do? You know, I, I'm a physio. I used to be the Scottish rugby physio. I've got a practice just up the road. Um, if you've got time, I would love to just have a wee look at it for you. So, you know, obviously went up and straight away, right, socks and shoes off, roll your trousers up, you know, and he asked me to walk along the floor, walked to, back and forth, and he put me up on the bed and he kind of had a wee look at it. And he said straight away, you've got a ruptured tendon in your foot. That's your problem. Now, nobody had ever mentioned this tendon to me before. I've been to four or five different people all over the world. Nobody had mentioned this tendon. And then he said, I do a lot of work with Gordon Mackay, um, who's obviously a specialist in this field. I'm going to organise for you to go and see Gordon. The exciting thing about his situation was, and somebody that has won the Open, you don't want to just casually proceed with a procedure that you haven't done elsewhere before. So I took it to the leading foot and ankle experts in the States when I was invited as faculty in Colorado. We discussed the options and initially they all felt that the traditional approach was appropriate until I explained how I was going to change the management, how we were going to tighten all the ligaments, support them and protect them with internal brace so he could mobilize quickly with a view to getting back to golf within 12 weeks. So we went into the skills lab and uh, we worked this out and between us, four top surgeons carried out the procedure on a cadaver. We realised that the principle worked and that normal balance could be restored. The following week when I came back, I carried out this definitive surgery with Paul with the assistance of one of my colleagues, Roz, who helped with some microsurgery to remove some bone spurs. <laughs> Now this was an opportunity to do something that hadn't been done before in terms of customised care for a high performance athlete. So by integrating the opinions of numerous surgeons, planning a procedure that was unique to Paul and addressed his specific concerns to allow him to return to high performance golf and to integrate that with rehabilitation and orthotic correction was absolutely crucial. And uh, I think the results speak for themselves. Well, I mean, he saved my career. You know, there's no question about that. If I'd gone to him, when I got to 50, I would have been back playing the way. It's just going to take me another year now to kind of get to the level I want to get to. But as far as foot's concerned, it's, oh man, it's 100% compared to what it was before. He's done a wonderful job on my foot. I never thought I'd be back playing again. So to be able to play any event I want to play and not worry about my foot is just amazing. <laughs>